you're watching Unrelent Gaming. This is Vegeta, the Prince of all Saiyans. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me. Or else you'll be Hakai! Not Beerus. You know how this works. Make sure you enable all notifications on the channel and watch the entire video all the way through. And don't forget to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. That's enough! On with the video. So with Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter number 82 looming over the horizon, scheduled to be released in just about two days, we have now learned about the shocking revelation that to some extent Goku does have some kind of recollection of both Gine and Bardock, as the battle itself continues to be waged involving both Goku and Gas, with everything now having to unfold and with Bardock also being shown having to battle Gas 40 years ago in this upcoming manga chapter, this now ultimately begs the question, are we now going to find the keys in possibly defeating gas with Goku now having to learn them or is something else bound to happen as of course the story continues. As a quick little reminder before diving deeper into this video, if of course you guys just so happen to be new to the channel and want to be kept up to date with everything in regards to the Dragon Ball Super manga and the upcoming Dragon Ball Super superhero movie, then I do encourage you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to never miss a single video posted on the channel. On top of giving this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply excited to see see where the narrative is going to take us moving forward because, as courtesy of the official Dragon Ball News website and both Herms98 and DBS Hype over on Twitter, the following Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 82 images, leaks, information, and spoilers goes as follows. Now, as of course you guys can see here on your screen, it would only now appear as though that at some point Goku will end up bringing gas within the Galactic Patrol prison to where if you guys pay close enough attention and take a very good look inside some of these cell blocks, you then slowly but surely begin to notice how a lot of these prisoners were in fact riding with Moro in the previous arc, and what's even more is that it appears as though they're slowly beginning to get under Gas's skin, because it's fairly evident that they're speaking to him, they want Gas to actually free them, but Gas doesn't look like he has any intention on freeing them, so instead, the prisoners end up taunting him, the prisoners try and get his attention, which is what I find more interesting than anything else, because as of course you guys can see here on your screen, at some given point, it looks as though they actually end up pissing Gas off well enough to where Gas ends up completely forgetting about Goku for a second only to now take the time to yell at the prisoners around him, which is what I personally find more ironic than anything else because coincidentally enough you have one villain right now from the current arc having to yell and scream at some of the same individuals that went as far as to invade Earth in the previous arc, so obviously this was done by design as Goku seems to be taking Gas everywhere, but what's even more is as of course you guys can see here on your screen, there seems to come a point in time where Gas ends up unleashing a gigantic energy blast down at Goku, and what Goku ends up trying to do is Goku ends up trying to do his best in holding the energy blast back, and Goku essentially tries to do his best in doing what he can to survive, but to Gas's credit, Gas actually proves to be too overwhelming for Goku, so what Goku ends up doing instead as a counter method is once again, Goku ends up using instant transmission to get out of harm's way, which subsequently enough, as of course you guys can see here, you can literally see the effects that that Gas is beginning to have on Goku within the palm of Goku's hands, because not only is Goku's body now trembling, not only is Goku now feeling that much more overwhelmed against Gas, but while locked in a very heated battle against him, he's trying to do his best in figuring out a strategy to use against him, which thus ultimately results in Goku finally coming up with a plan, which I will say is a plan that only someone like Goku would come up with, because as Goku once again ends up using instant transmission, out of all places to take the new so-called strongest warrior within Universe 7, the location that Goku ironically ends up bringing Gas to happens to be the exact same location
location where none other than Whis seems to be residing in and Whis is simply minding his business, he seems to be riding on top of dinosaurs and even Whis himself is taken back by this because the last thing that Whis was ever expecting to see was of course Goku and another individual to where in case you guys are wondering if Beerus is there, coincidentally enough, no, Beerus is not present as this is happening. So I guess to those people that were saying that Goku was going to bring gas to Beerus, you were kind of close but not really because instead of bringing gas to Beerus, instead Goku ends up bringing gas to Whis, right? Now you might be wondering, is Whis going to fight gas? Is Whis going to be involved? Actually no, but instead, as soon as both Goku and gas had arrived, Goku out of nowhere once again ends up vanishing and instead he starts to use instant transmission literally everywhere by going back to the same exact locations that he was prior in not only going as far as to confuse gas and to kind of burn him out at the same time but while stuck with Whis now gas doesn't appear to know as to where Goku is or what the heck is even going on because the game that Goku seems to be playing here is to get gas as far away from planet Sorel as possible while still retaining the capabilities in using instant transmission to move at his own pace to where remember gas is the one that initially is struggling by using instant transmission so with Goku now simply having to zigzag all over the place it's simply throwing gas off his game because it was as Goku had said in the previous manga chapter in the fact that he simply had more experience by using instant transmission than gas so gas at this point kind of feels stuck because he can't really follow Goku at this point which he does go on to try anyway after asking Whis as to where Goku went but towards the latter portion of this manga chapter it appears as though when going back to Monaito's house and yes there does come a point in time where Monaito does not really heal Granola fully but Granola is in fact alive and is able to be transported from the battlefield all the way back to Monaito's house with Goku and Vegeta and as they end up arriving at Monaito's house Monaito ends up introducing out of all things a scouter to both Goku and Vegeta and tells them that the scouter itself belonged to Bardock and this in fact actually might contain recordings that could hence the word could be made to what leads to Gas's defeat as of course Gas is trying to make his return to where as of course you guys can see right here as soon as the device was activated and Goku was able to have some kind of recollection of both Gine and Bardock prior to Goku being sent off from planet Vegeta to planet Earth it was during this time where of course Goku remembers their faces it's not as though he remembers anything else outside of that which I don't understand why so many people are making a big deal out of this because it's not as though Goku is remembering anything else outside of his final moments and saying goodbye to them but we then make our way back 40 years into the past in then seeing Bardock having to fight Gas once more and from what it looks like it looks like Gas was in fact telling Goku the truth in the last manga chapter because with the way Bardock seems to be fighting Gas he seems to be fighting Gas very intensely and Bardock seems to have that killer drive that killer instinct in wanting to finish the job off in finishing off Gas once and for all right which again is not an easy thing to do apparently enough because despite Bardock's best efforts it still doesn't appear to be enough because Gas is unaffected by Bardock's attacks which pretty much closes off the manga chapter with another cliffhanger as of course once again we're going to be getting another flashback in Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 83 because with Bardock now having to at least assume the position and getting some kind of victory over him Bardock was wrong because despite what Bardock is trying to do against Gas no matter what it is punch kick energy blast nothing seems to be working right but by the end of all of this I want to go on ahead and get your thoughts in the comment section below about not only the spoilers but also in getting your thoughts on the overall idea of seeing Goku actually be the one to now kind of get a glimpse of his parents for the first time and to now ultimately come to that realization that indeed there might be a connection there that could in fact lead him to victory in this battle against gas because not for nothing there have been so many people on Twitter on Instagram that have either liked the idea of Goku kind of remembering his parents while the other people really didn't and overall it caused a huge meltdown within the fandom because for those that don't like Dragon Ball Minus and for those kind of fans that don't agree with Goku kind of remembering his parents because it kind of goes on to devalue him they've made their voices heard while the other side of the fandom where people actually like this idea have also made their voices be heard so I want to know from you guys on whether or not you think this is going to lead to something is this going to be something temporary again let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and remember the full manga chapter is going to be posted on the channel and broken down in English on March 18th this Friday so you guys don't want to miss out on all of the craziness that's about to happen so again thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for your time again if you guys just so happen to
to be new to the channel and of course happen to also love Dragon Ball, then I do encourage you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to never miss a single video posted onto the channel. On top of giving this video a big fat thumbs up right now by smashing that like button down below if you guys are excited, tune back in for more. Thank you all so much for your time and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy guys and have a great day. Peace. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video.